Hi everyone, welcome back to The Puttering Penman. Today I'm going to review the Pilot Custom 743. Pen comes in this box, you know, this is a grey cardboard sleeve. Inside, there is a plastic box, it's black, pretty standard. Um, inside, there's this Pilot Use and Care Guide, the pen came wrapped inside the sleeve underneath this, uh, you know, fabric uh, holder, and it around the clip it had this, just saying it was Pilot Custom 73. On the pen barrel it had this sticker saying it was a medium nib. I took that off. Underneath, um, it did come with a cartridge and a converter came in the pen. So you both you get both the cartridge and a converter, which is nice. I'm using the converter is a Pilot Con 70, which I'll show you, it's in the pen. Cartridge was a uh, ink of black, uh, it was black ink cartridge. Just one other note, I ordered this pen from Pensachi, so they included some of this stuff. Um, I don't know what that says, I'm guessing thank you for your kindness. And then they say to please post it to Instagram, so they get a little bit of uh, marketing. Um, this is the pen. I got it in the deep red color. It also comes in black. Uh, I think this is a, a very good looking pen. Um, a little bit understated, but also looks, it looks like a, uh, a fancy pen, to be honest. So it's a cigar shaped pen. The cap here says pilot engraved on it. It's, uh, gold. Gold trimmings. Um, the cap band here says Custom 743 with three stars, and then Pilot Made in Japan with three more stars here. They're filled in with either black lacquer or black paint, um, so it stands out a little bit, which is nice. Um, even though this is a red pen, both the red and the black versions come with the black lacquer or paint on the inside of those uh, words. The cap unscrews with one and a half turns. Here is the nib. Again, I think the nib scroll work is nice. Um, not too fancy, but it is enough to be interesting. This is the exact same nib that comes on the Pilot Custom 823. I got this pen in a medium. One of the nice things why people like the Pilot Custom 743 is that it comes in pretty much every nib option that Pilot um, offers. So it comes with a posting nib, you can get a Waverly nib, you can get the FA nib, you can get a fine medium, you can get a soft fine, you can get a soft medium, you can get regular fine medium broad, you can get a coarse nib, so you get the idea. It's, I th it's a lot of options, it's like over 15. Of course, to get those nib options, you usually have to order from Japan. Um, or somebody who's selling it who acquired it from Japan. So that's the one downside of the 743 if you live in any other country other than Japan. This is a cartridge converter pen. Oh, I will also note the feed is uh, sort of a dark blue color, which is kind of interesting. Again, same feed as the Pilot Custom 823. I have a uh, comparison video of those coming out soon, so if you're interested in that, subscribe to the channel. This is a Pilot Con 70 converter. This is actually the first time I've used the Con 70. I've used every other um, Pilot converter. Filling this was actually very easy. It was nice. It holds a lot of ink. Um, one thing I don't like about the design of this pen is you can see that these metals are both um, they're silver colored, even though the rest of the trims on the pen are gold. I know nobody sees that you know, when you're writing with the pen because the body is on it. But it would have been nice if they had at least got the same coloring on the pen, just so it matched a little bit better. So, overall, a good-looking pen. The uh, pen closed is 149 millimeters. The uh, grip section is 10.5 millimeters. The weight of the pen is 26 grams. 
and it holds about one milliliter of ink with the Con 70, probably a little bit more than that. Let's do some size comparisons. Compared to a Pilot Metropolitan, you can see it's larger. Compared to a Lamy Safari, also larger. Uh, compared to a Pilot Custom 823, they are the same size. The A23 is just slightly heavier. It's like one or two grams. Um, let's compare it to a Pelican M800. You can see it's a little bit longer than the M800. And this is a Sailor 1911 standard. Okay. So the pen, uh, I'll do a quick writing sample. The pen does post, and it posts securely. The uh, cap doesn't weigh that much, so you can use it either posted or unposted. Because this pen is um, it's large enough, I just tend to write with it unposted. So this is a 14 karat gold nib. The ink is Pilot Black, uh, which is Pilot Black from the bottle of ink, uh, not the cartridge. Then, quick sentence. So this pen writes um, amazing. Best writing pen in my collection, best writing fountain pen I've ever used. Uh, it's very similar to the Pilot Custom 823, uh, which is, it's, you know, it's the same nib, different filling mechanisms. They write basically the same. Uh, both of them are excellent. Of course, um, I don't have the FA nib. A lot of people are interested in that. Um, they, you might also be interested in like the posting nib or something else. I don't have those nibs, so I don't know how they write, but I can tell you the standard medium nib writes excellent. Um, and absolutely, I'm over the moon with how, how well this pen writes. Um, basically everything about it. It's as close as perfect as I've found in a fountain pen. So this pen uh, sells for uh, $265, something like that, but you have to buy it directly from Japan. I bought it from Pensachi, as I said before. Um, at that price, I think this pen is definitely worth the price. It, you know, this pen could basically compete with pens at twice the price. Um, I, you know, this Pelican M800, this is a $530 pen, um, this pen writes better than it. Might not look quite as pretty as it, but you know, it's still very good looking pen and it writes much better. The, um, you know, the downside of course, you have to buy it from Japan, not easily available in the United States, Europe, even other countries outside of Japan in Asia. So that's the downside, but I think it is well worth the price, well worth the chance if you're looking for a really high quality cartridge converter pen. So um, if there's something you want to know that I didn't answer, please leave a question in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you. Um, I have other pen reviews coming out. I also have some comparison videos with this pen and the A23 and also just some general fountain pen uh, discussion videos coming out. So if that interests you, please subscribe to this channel and I will see you next time. Bye.